I was at the grocery store the other day, about to buy some cans of tuna, when I sensed a very disturbed presence right behind me. I could tell she was a disturbed person by the look in her eyes. And I thought you should never look directly at a crazy person. I'm just going to look at these cans of tuna engrossed in whether they're in oil or in water until that person just, <laughs> just goes away. But instead, she brought her fist down on my head and she screamed at me. Would you just move, asshole? Why would she do that? She hadn't even asked me, would you just please move? some initial points that I would know what her problem was. I don't always tell people what I want either. Like at the movie theater. Those people that just don't stop talking. But on the other hand, I don't just glam on their heads. You know, in a positive light, this woman probably had some serious terrible life experiences that brought her to this place and time with me at the grocery store. And if I'd known her whole life story since the beginning, I could have understood her actions and how she got there. But even if I'd had that knowledge, which I did not, shh, I tell you what, I could have understood her actions and how she got there, but I didn't have that knowledge. And it was still my head she was hitting. It's so unfair. I didn't want to not leave my apartment ever again.